have come with us. Not quite gone yet. Um, wait till we make our turn. This first turn. How about that? I'm just gonna get us floating loose. We don't need to go anywhere. Okay. So I go to knees when I'm doing white water. Have my bum on the seat. Down on the floor, keeps me nice and low. Good job, man. I wish I'd film that. All right, stop. I'm gonna go down here. That presented some stuff for us to wrap the canoe on. I think we got this. I didn't film till like most of the way down. I said, nope, nope. There's gonna be nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just be dragging the boat. That was okay. fun. Yeah, that was, was awesome. That was a nice stretch. And the path that we took was totally roundable. I mean, yeah. I mean there were a couple. I noticed that, so I followed. Oh good. I, I was said, trying hey, to Isaac, go, go, just go that way. I was trying to point our direction. Nice clean run. I was expecting it to be just too shallow. Just too shallow. We may scrape a tad or two, but this should be clear. Here we are. rippling off to the left, as long as we kind of follow that as well. We'll stay slightly left of those ripplies, believe it or not. Yeah. Oh yeah. Way, then had breakfast and then we packed up the rest of the stuff. We scouted the area and then we started to head out. Um, Dad and I went first in the canoe, then came Isaac in the pack raft and then Liam in the other pack raft. And we made it through the big, the first big rapids. The canoe eater. The canoe eater. <laughs> With the warp wrapped canoe. That was special. Yeah, this is fantastic. Well, most of the water's going right. Look out, yeah. It has to make a really hard turn. So most of the water is over here on the right side. Yeah. So which side of the corner is the is the deeper water usually on? Outside corner, yeah. Backraft on zipper. Hard left. To the right, then hard left. Yeah. River right, hard left turn. There we go. Ah, oh, I love this stuff. That boulder field to the, to the hard left there, the wall there, isn't that awesome? Go right side of this rock. Not as easy as I thought. A little 
Russian one that goes through there. Yeah, like, hey! Stay hard, play! Hard, hard, hard! Yeah, the beavers love that. Look at that this little like channel there to the hard right at three o'clock. Great stuff this beaver habitat in here. Today's paddle is the long stretch, just making miles today. It's also really the rewarding stretch for us. So we've gotten past the portage, the lakes, and so for newer paddler, you know, Isaac, cousin Isaac, a chance for him to get some miles and see see really the fun part of what this river trip means. So you're welcome, buddy. And and Lily, first time for her on a, one of our longer trips, right? Right? But I have not. Yeah, so first, first time on a multi-day river-based canoe trip. So, you're welcome too, Lily. And thank you for joining us. As you probably have noticed from the footage, she is Lily, Alpine Lily, is one heck of a paddler. First river trip, first of many to come. And she is a good listener, strong paddler. Not too, uh, not too obnoxious to have around. We got Isaac in the shop. He's trucking. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that was what we did last night. And then, same thing for this. I've seen pictures of a really cool gravel bar, like big, wide open, like one of the middle things, except instead of foliage, it's just gravel. Those make great campsites. Bugs don't like them. They get blown right off. Not as easy to put the tent stakes in, but that's I'd rather have that problem than bugs. Let's go ahead and switch. Nice.
streams coming in, so the water has added in turbidity. Keep that paddle in the water, kiddo. Water has added, added a lot of turbidity. It's faster, definitely colder. Get the cold breeze off the glacier. Now we're rocking, huh? I just, I just signaled to the boys, and I just heard them confirm to Isaac we're going to the, to the right. They're thinking, burr, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want them entering that. That'll get them. <laughs> now remember, if you're getting wavy, keep paddling. Don't put arms up. That just turns our gravity up higher. It's a natural response. I, have, I tell everybody that. All right, braids out here, so just looking for the good path. It looks like straight ahead is probably where I'm going to go, but left looks doable as well. There looks enough water headed straight ahead that I kind of want to stick with this. It's a little tight over there to the left. The signal for the boys so that they don't. Liam would love to take that left channel, I'm sure of it. And if it was just him, that'd be fine. But we got Isaac on his first trip, so this isn't the time for, hey, let's see if this works, you know, that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's, it's fun stuff. We are entering a glacial part of the river where the glacial creeks come into the delta. And definitely very lovely. Looks like it's curling. So, um, we just passed a couple big rapids and going twice the speed. So, definitely be more cautious because you can't see the bottom. Anyway, just going for it and we're going to be to our campsite in about half an hour. Tops. Just like all the stuff before, it's just a different color water and it's a little faster. Seriously. No, this is the same stuff. Same skills and I need your strength, not, not your nervousness. Okay. This is, we got a nice wide channel to turn in. Good. All right, switch sides, please. Another eagle, immature there. Coming over low. Hey, buddy. Take battery bank set up so we can recharge bats for our last day here. Definitely could have accomplished this trip in just one night and two days, but there's something about taking the extra day and extra night. That's the key part. Another night out, at least for my money, for my you know my experience with this stuff. One night out is nice and everything, but you just spend so much of your time packing up and then putting stuff away. So I, I love any time you get two nights or more. So I've got the boys busy with getting a fire started. Been here for a couple hours. We've got water, <clears throat> tent is set up. We've got everybody cleaned up in terms of getting camp cleaned up. And Lily is working on some projects of her own. She's pretty easy to task that way, or self-task herself. Um, you 
Jokers. I, I think it's, it can get a bit draining. You got teenage kids or kind of that young teenage kid. They're all looking for stuff just to do, just to dink around, cause a bit of trouble. And so you got to find ways that they can be helpful. And also find space so they can get that energy out. That's important for their, for them and for your own sanity. At least for me, I'm kind of a quiet person naturally, so boisterous teens are a dynamic that I've, I've worked with teens for my entire adult life, so I, I get that, I'm, I'm comfortable with it, but if I had my own choice, my own time, I definitely focus on being more, a bit more contemplative and reflective, so I like to find a little space on trail so everybody can be active, get that energy out, and also find some time for myself and model that for, for those that I'm with. Does, everything doesn't have to be energy, energy games and goofing off. It can be a space for reflection. And thinking about what, um, what we've done, what we're doing, what this is about, about this place. The people before us who have been here, I think that's a big part of why I love spending time in the woods and on the rivers is I know that I'm not the first person here. It looks like I am, but it's fascinating to think about all those who've come before me here and the delicate care that they have put on the land here. There's there's not a, not a footprint other than the moose. Yeah, I think there's a wolf. Something about that. Delicate care. Passing one to the next. Oh, we got a beaver going right down. Beaver going down the river. There we go, buddy. It's heading in there. slap when they're frustrated just to let you know at least that's what we think that they're doing it's a bit of territorial I'm not looking to mess with them just inquiring as to what he's up to checking out his space <laughs> 